Gotta get warm, getting all set up, ready to go. Woo! Good morning from Winona, Maryland. We're here aboard Kingfish 2 with D Captain Harry. I'm Nancy Cole. We're here for Rockfish 2 on Bait and Reel Adventures. Rockfishing! And to everyone out there, thanks for watching and happy holidays. We're looking for rockfish. This girl's the rock star. We're marking up. We're getting ready. Thanks for the signal, George. We're making a turn. Captain's been marking some pretty nice fish, so we're making a turn here. As soon as uh, Captain Harry gives Rusty the signal, we're going to drop the line. Hopefully, we're going to get one. You know, if anybody's going to do it, Rusty's going to do it. Get your hands on them and grab them, and then hand them to the angler. Okay, got it. They can get off really easy in the holder. Okay, lock them up, or they'll Sorry, be locked be, up. Yep. Just hand them off. Okay, I'm I'm here to help you any way I can. Okay, got it. We're fishing today on Kingfish 2 with Captain Harry, and we are so happy with us, Captain Rusty Radis, one of our favorites. And helping out today is Tom Taylor, former uh, commercial fisherman, and now uh, woodworker, Farlow Taylor Woodwork, beautiful work that they do, and we're really happy to have them feeding the fish. Yeah, you need a belt. Come on, Karen, you're first up. Tight till she gets ready, man. Got it. Good job. Well, that didn't take too long, man. Only about 30 seconds. All righty, I'm handing off. Oh, my gosh. You good? I'm not taking your scarf with me. No. You good? <laughs> All right, we got Karen on the rod. Woo! First time on Bait and Rail Adventures. She's, let her tell her story. Come on! Woo! You all right? Yes. Okay. Right off the bat. Left out 5.30 this morning. We just got the bait out. We're hooked up. It is, it's, um, it's hard. <laughs> is it heavy? Yes, it's very heavy. Come on, baby, reel. Help out, Nancy. No, 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 it's all <laughs> yours. Nice pull. Nice one. Bring it down. Real, real, real. You're doing a great job. Hey, maybe this is the one. Might be breaking the record. Breaking the record. It's always a possibility. Come on, you can do this. Oh, it looks how pretty. George, look how pretty. Working you? The rockfish. It's a striped bass somewhere in the world, or a striper. Come on, you're coming, you're coming. Reel them down, reel them down. Nice 
Nice fish. Come on, Karen. Woo! Karen and she just reeled in her first rock yes. fish for us. First time fishing on Bait and Reel Adventures. We wanted her to make sure she had an adventure. Thank so you, how was it? It, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt good though. Great. She Excellent. did a great job. Captain came in, showed her what I'm calling the rubber band move. She did real fast. She did going right back to it. That was a lot of fun for uh, the rockfish here, my first time with Bait and Real Adventures, and I'm um, quite sore. And even though I didn't think we were fighting a strong current, it still was quite a fight. Girls are rocking! Stripers, you can see the individual lines down here. That's how they originally got their name. They're part of the bass family of fish. This fish is about 30 inches. Stay with us on Bait and Real Adventures. Went and caught us our first rockfish, a nice 30 incher. Guys, we're pulling up the line. We're gonna head on over to a new spot, see what we can find down there. New spot. We're setting the planer board. As you watch, we'll actually have 20 plus lines in the water. Yeah, basically what we got going here is uh, low profile outriggers. This provides us to put a lot of flat lines out away from the boat as they, you know, it covers a much, much more greater area. You know, it allows us to get more baits in the water. We got about 100 feet of line on each one. You know, we'll get, about 150 foot wide spread out, allows us to put 20 plus rods out. Hey, it's holiday rock fish time, stripers. I just wanted to like check out the bait. Kind of looks like a candy cane going on right here. I think this is the lucky one. Candy cane, day hook. And if we really get the big one, we'll be gassing out there. Having some fun on Bait Real Adventures. We're in Tangier Sound. Looking for some rockfish. We're kind of hanging out here by ourselves on the Kingfish 2. And uh, as some of the boats go by, the captain said, you know, um, the engine noise will actually drive the rockfish away. And they don't go down deeper, they actually just spread. So we're trying to hang away from all the other boats that are out here on this Saturday. 
Oh, yeah. Pick him up, Tommy. Come on, Cat. Come on, Cat. Come on, Cat. Cat, 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 Cat. Get your bell. Yeah. Woo! Rockfish on. Nice, Cat. Yeah. Thanks, Cat and Harry. All right, baby. Real. Wind it. Yep. Yep. Got to keep it tight with these heavy bucktails. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. So says the captain. And we always do what the captain says. Woo! Come on, Woo! Come on, Woo! Come on, Not a run. The rockfish. It's a striped bass. Get your striped or rockfish. Oh, Tommy's got the net. Where's Captain Harry? Come on, girl, bro, make it happen. I'm doing the rubber band move. Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Don't never stop reeling. Hey, Captains, want to feature your sport fishing business on Bait and Reel Adventures? Call us at 888-964-4467 or send us an email. Let's go catching on Bait and Reel Adventures. We're out here fishing on Chesapeake Bay. We're in Virginia waters. The record rockfish for Virginia was caught last January 2012 and weighed a whopping 74 pounds. However, the all-time record was from Connecticut, caught out of Long Island Sound, um, and that was out of 2011, and that rockfish weighed 81 pounds. Today, who knows? Of course, we're happy with anything we catch, but we're always hoping. Come on, Come on Donna. Angler. Real baby. Ready to go, Donna. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Come on, the girls on Baby Real Adventures can really pay.
Donna. Come on. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Nice one. Nice, nice one. Not so bad. Yeah. Right. I said that wasn't so bad. It came in pretty quick. Fun? Ready to do it again? Now that's what we're talking about. Don't hurt my dinner, Tommy. <laughs> Now that's dinner. Nice fish. <laughs> He's a squirreler. That's my fish. I want to hold him. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to hold him. That's my fish. That's a nice fish. Not even reeling yet. Pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him. Yeah. Pull him, pull him, pull him. All right. Can I can I get somebody to do me a favor? Take my scarf off because it's. Thank you, babe. Okay. Nice size one too. It's a good one. Yay. Dude, really? Really? Thank you. With the spreader bar. Always Nancy with the spreader bar. Very nice. Woo! Yeah. 40 plus inch fish there. Yay! Woo! That felt good! Hey, Monica!
That was sweet. That was, that's what we needed there. It's a nice grade of fish, pure pretty fish. The lady did a fantastic job. That's definitely teamwork there. We're real happy with that little that little dip bit there. We're gonna get in here and try to find a few more. Uh, these they're the older fish. You know, it, I mean these fish here are probably 18, 20 years old that we're catching today. And, you know, that's why they're so big. And the winter time they put on enormous bellies. I mean they swim through these channels and, and they feed on manhaden or, or bunker L wise. They got different names but it's the same thing. And, and they just they gorge themselves on them. They eat all day and just don't quit. And that's why they're so so plump, you know, fat as you will this time of year. All it takes is a little bit of chocolate, George. A little yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Go, 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 go. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Great fish on here, number two for her. If she's reeling here, when you're pulling on the rockfish. Don't drop it down too fast. Yeah, don't drop the rod tip down and don't point, don't point the tip at the fish when you're doing this. Pull them, girl, pull them. Does this have more line out than the others? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Head comes out, you stop right there. Okay, okay. wind down. Just don't go too high. Okay, it's a gorgeous fish on there. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Woo. Yep, go, just like that. Nice little short ones. There you go. Oh, yeah. Doing a great job, Karen. here there a real nice fat ocean run fish and what they, they're coming in the bay here chasing the, the menhaden fattening up for the winter time until they, they return to the ocean and then, then they'll stage outside the chesapeake bay off the virginia north carolina coast throughout the winter uh, before they return to come back up in the bay and spawn in the rivers chesapeake you know their prime spawning ground this area in particular is really nice got the multitude of rivers right here on the eastern shore where they are now they're schooling tight chasing bait getting fat for the winter and then in the springtime when they come you know it's a different really different type of fishing they, they do congregate on the bait when they're feeding but they are traveling as well so they, they've got a fairly predictable path in the springtime so you know we can get in there travel lanes and they 
pick them off. Charter boat fishing on the Chesapeake. These guys are constantly working, constantly bringing up the bait, clearing the grass off the, off the line and, and uh, getting the baits kind of brushed up, getting the knots out of the hair just like we do on, you know, girls brushing the hair out. They actually shampoo and condition the, the baits when they're all done with them. recommendation is you take the fish, you pat it down so it's really, really dry. When you're, you're vacuum sealing fish, water is the enemy, so pat it down real dry. You might even want to put it in your freezer for two, three minutes. Again, pat it down. If you have a vacuum sealer, vacuum seal it up. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can take like saran wrap, plastic wrap. Again, wrap it really, really tight. You want to get all the air out of the um, you know, the sealant there. Oh, this is so much fun catching fish. Second year in a row. What a great time. Girls rock. I'm Nancy Cole. We had a fabulous day. We're here on the Kingfish 2 with Captain Harry, Captain Rusty Reddish. The girls rock. Yes, they do. Woo! Winona is on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay. It is a beautiful, quaint town, beautiful waterways, sunsets, great fishing, great watermen down here. We had seven rockfish today, all in about the 40 pound range. Really great day. I saw Bait and Real Ventures. I'm a local down here on the eastern shore and uh, saw Nancy Cole's name and decided I'd go out to Facebook and see if I could find her, and I did, and friended her and sent her a message and told her I admired what she was doing with her fishing skills. and. Uh, got back to me, invited me out here to fish, and I had a great day, and I'm honored that she asked me to fish with her.